Hey YouTube, NK Beauty here, hope everybody's having a really good day. Now in today's video I'll be showing you how I create my flawless base. So let's not waste any time, let's jump straight into it. Now I always start off with a very moisturised face. I went ahead beforehand and did my proper full on skincare routine because I definitely want to start off with a smooth base. After that I'll be taking my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer and applying that all over my face. Now because I wasn't going to be applying any eyeshadow today, I actually applied this on my eyelids as well because I will be applying concealer afterwards. I have two of my favourite foundations here, this is both my MAC and my L'Oreal True Match. I didn't know which one to go for. I then decided to go for my MAC one just because I feel like it's a little bit more full coverage. And that is definitely what we want when we're creating a flawless face. I figured it'd be best to zoom you guys in a little bit just to see perfectly what I was doing. I like to distribute the foundation evenly before I then go in and buff it all out. I'm using my Bobbi Brown foundation buffing brush to do this. After that I'll be taking Maybelline's Instant Anti-Age Rewind Concealer in light and just applying that in the areas that I want to bring forward, so the bits I want to highlight. I like to do triangles underneath my eyes and because I'm not going to be applying any eyeshadow I'll take that on top of my eyes as well just so that that area is all the same colour. And then just on my forehead, my T-zone and my upper lip and chin. Obviously you're going to look a little bit funny at this point, but don't worry, it all gets blended out. Which brings me to my next point, in which case I do take a flat concealer brush and just blend everything out nicely. We don't want there to be any sort of harsh lines and we don't want to be able to see that we have applied a lighter colour there because we want it to be blended flawlessly. After that I'll be taking Bourjois Paris Healthy Balance Unifying Powder and that is in the colour Vanille I believe um, and I'm just going to be patting that in the areas that we put the lighter concealer. Make sure that when you are applying the powder you are patting it on rather than swiping because if you swipe you're then going to be removing some of the concealer and you don't want to do that. By patting it on it is definitely going to lock and seal it in. Then I'll be taking Inglot's loose powder and applying that to the rest of my face using the same patting motions. And that is basically all I do to create my perfect base. Now I thought this video was just a little bit too short for you guys so I went ahead and applied my bronzer as well. My favourite bronzing product is the Sleek Bronzing Block in Light. Now where I take this is just in the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples and just on the sides of my nose and also just below my jawline as well. Definitely want to define those areas.
don't worry if you feel like it's a little bit too harsh I do always go in and blend it all out with a huge kabuki brush I use my Inglot one and it's like a really short miniature one it's really cute but it does the job When you are defining your nose, make sure you take a smaller brush. Don't do this with a larger brush because it will look silly. <laughs> Don't worry if it's too harsh as well because we will go in and blend it all out. Look at that super speed blending, eh? <laughs> the power of editing. <laughs> and that's it. So we're going to zoom you out a little bit now. Oh, and do a little dance for you too. <laughs> and that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and just let me know what you think. <laughs> Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe for more videos. I do post every Monday and Thursday. And also follow me on Instagram. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye.